What's happening guys? Gemma here and back again for another video. Now I just want to say before we dive into this, I'm sorry about the echo. We're in the kitchen. This is the only place I can show all of this. There's boxes here. There's a box down there. It's in the kitchen because it hasn't been cleaned. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is something that was all given to me for free. Steel Battalion. Steel Battalion. Um, I just want to thank Steve, one of my brother's colleagues, for contacting my brother and I'm giving this away for free. We've got consoles, we've got games, we've got something right here which is immense, immensely, immensely rare. Um, so Steve, if you're watching dude and you say you watch my channel, thank you so much. He was going to throw this in the bin. He's going to throw it in the bin. So thank you so much for giving this. The generosity right here is unbelievable. There's so much stuff I want to show you guys. And again, if you can, I'm sorry about the echo. The kitchen is huge, um, but this is all going to be cleaned as soon as I film this and put away. So Steve, thank you so much. Guys, I'm going to show you exactly what we've got. So we'll start with this. As I've mentioned it a couple of times, Steel Battalion, which is a bit like, uh, I believe, a cockpit. Um, for the original Xbox, and he did include an original Xbox console, which is in here, in this box right here. Um, inside, which you'll see on B-roll, all the manuals are here. The box is a little bit broken, I'm going to glue it on the side. Um, but we've got the game here, Steel Battalion, um, and then Steel Battalion line of comic, which is factory sealed. Okay, this is factory sealed. Um, manual is in here. This is absolutely phenomenal. I could not believe all this is given for free. So this is a really nice addition to the collection. I'm so stoked with this. Um, and I've never ever owned Steel Battalion, so this is absolutely unbelievable. Um, when I kind of like walked in the living room, I was I saw it and I was just like, no way! Absolutely could not believe it. So. Steel Battalion um, is, is here, is awesome. Now, when I was a kid, um, do you guys remember Barcode Battler? Barcode Battler, it looks a little bit like an Atari Lynx. Um, this was something that we, we kind of like yearned after as a kid. I'll show additional pictures anyway. Loads of additional pictures of this will be on my Instagram located right here. If you guys want to go and follow that, you'll see additional things. So Barcode Battler is in. I was like, I, I messaged my brother a picture, I was like, Scott, look at this! Um, so that is pretty nice, that's a nice little extra. Now we're going to go over to games, and then I'm going to show you all the consoles, all the controllers, this absolute ton of stuff, an absolute ton of stuff, and I'll show you additional bits on B-roll. So a couple of Master System games then, we've got Alien 3, I'm sorry for the noise outside, there's a main road right outside. Um, we've got Alien 3 here on the Master System and Special Crime Investigation, um, really decent condition. Aside from being dusty, which I'm going to clean, these are all in really, really nice condition. Um, you'll see all the safety stuff. We've got a pile of Mega CD games, we've got a pile of PS1, a pile of Mega Driver, a pile of Sega Dreamcast, a pile of Sega Saturn, a pile of N64 games, um, which is just, again, thank you Steve for this. Um, N64 wise, we've got GoldenEye 007, which is a classic, it's a staple title um, on the N64. Another classic, Ocarina of Time. Remember, Steve was going to throw all of these away. This is blowing my mind right now. This is the best, 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 best thing anyone's ever done for this channel. Um, like in terms of kind of giving, you know, sometimes you guys send packages. This is unbelievable. I'm grateful. Every time people send things, thank you. Um, Star Wars Episode 1, Star Wars Racer Episode 1, uh, we, got, we got 1080, another classic that I just loved on the N64 back in the day. Um, Pokemon Stadium, uh, which needs a bit of a clean it seems, but I'm sure it'll work. Cartridges have a great longevity to them, I'm sure all these will work. Pilot Wings 64, as well as Wave Race 64, which is an N64 hidden gem, I want to say that right now. This thing is an awesome little gem. So they're the N64 games. You guys can also see Link to the Past right here. Now I said to my brother, um, I'm going to be giving my brother the Super Nintendo with Link to the Past because I'm going to get, I want to kind of encourage my nephews um, to get into consoles that I grew up on. I grew up on the Super Nintendo. Um, so Scott's going to be getting um, Mario World and All Stars for Ruben to play. He's a huge, huge Mario fan. So 
doing it right, giving, giving Snez away with Link to the Past to my brother and nephews. So like we said, you've seen the Dreamcast games on B-Roll, some really, really nice titles. Resident Evil Cobra Ranker is one of my personal favourites. Um, we've got some really awesome Mega Drive games which you guys are also going to see. Again, I just can't stress enough how, how grateful I am, <laughs> like literally. So damn grateful, like really, really, like let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. There's not going to be a huge amount of editing as it's going to be quite a big video. Um, but let me know what you think in the comment section below as we're kind of going through this. Um, and also here for the Sega Saturn is a backup memory. There is a Sega Saturn console included in all of this. This is absolutely nuts. So that's, that's some of the games. We've got Steel Battalion, the Barcode Battler which again is a bit like an Atari because I've totally forgotten what the purpose of this was but I remember wanting it as a kid. Um, we've got a big box just on the, on the last bit of the games, a big box Dune. I've um, actually got Dune on PS1 down here as well for PC so that's pretty darn nice. We'll, we'll go ahead and put that right there. Um, so yes, so here are the games. I'm going to dive into consoles and peripherals. Do not go anywhere. We're nowhere near done and I'm just going to keep echoing my thanks to Steve for giving me all of this stuff for free. So I've just moved this. We've got a box right here. Um, in this box, brace yourselves, um, we've got the first Sega Dreamcast. This is um, an American one, it seems, because it's got the, the, red, the red Dreamcast symbol. I've just noticed that, that's pretty cool. Um, with a mic, so Dreamcast controller here. Loads of wires, loads of wires all over the place. A second Dreamcast controller, um, so obviously I'm going to have to just pile them up here. Um, a third Dreamcast controller, this one with blue logo, so this is PAL region, um, it'll all work anyway. An N64 original controller with a third party rumble pack. <laughs> a console wag we've got, he gave me a Sega Saturn. This is unbelievable, I, I, I'm still in shock, um, wow. Just. Do seriously, a Super Nintendo controller, which again, like I said, I'm giving this NES um, to my brother and my nephews. And um, in here, there is a Model 2, if I can get this out, I'll just pull the controller out and the wires to attach. I don't know what game is in this. We got a master system, guys. And then in here is just kind of various wires, which I'm not going to show you. Um, but just as a recap, so I'm going to put this back in. Master system, remember, this is all for free, this is unreal. Um, Sega Saturn, I think he got the majority of these out of his attic, bless him. So Steve, you've really gone, gone to town and fetching all this stuff out for me. Um, and we're nowhere near done. So we're going to put the controls away. So we've got the, uh, the N64, the SNES controller and three Sega Dreamcast controllers, one of which has the mic. So that is a box there. Um, I'm going to show you some additional footage now of this. As you guys can see, um, we've got a back here, which you will see, which is very, very dusty. <laughs> a Mega Drive with a Mega CD attached. Um, so maybe giving us a clean. This is absolutely phenomenal. Um, let me know what your favourite Mega CD game is in the comment section below. Um, Mega CD is a, is a console that I really do need to start kind of padding out in terms of, you know, getting additional games in the collection. Um, so if you've got any decent recommendations, I wouldn't mind Final Fight on the Mega CD. So that's going to be something I'm going to be checking markets for, expos for, um, and I think it goes for about 50 quid, so that's going to be something that I'm looking forward to getting, um, but we're not done, so you've seen, seen this box, Mega Drive, what I'll do is I will put this here, Mega Drive, Mega CD, Sega Saturn Games, I'll show you what's in the rest of the boxes guys, but I hope you're still here in the video, let me know if you are. Right, we'll just move the Steel Battalion back a little bit. Um, bring this forward, bring this forward, two more boxes to go, may as well show you this now as it is out, I've, I don't I don't know it, I've never used one of these, um, it is a Dreamcast gun, so we've got a Dreamcast gun, so that's going to be pretty epic, I'll go ahead and place that right there, um, moving on from that guys, we've got a Dreamcast, um, blue logo, meaning PAL version, which is epic, um, flipping great console, Certainly an underrated console, I think, in the retro gaming community at home. Um, moving on, dusty but functional original Xbox controller. I'm sorry if I'm kind of flying through this, guys. There's a lot to get through, so I hope you can appreciate. It's a bit of a faster pace than usual. 
an original PlayStation 1 get, uh, game, uh, console, which again, my brother and I, well, he had it, I think it was Christmas 97 he got the original PlayStation 1, so pretty darn epic. You might get some of these consoles modded, like, you know, like custom paint um, work and stuff. A Nintendo 64, which again, it, I just love this console. It was kind of, kind of grew out of the N64 a little bit because I was, I think I was about 16, I was it 15, 16 when it came out, so I was about to go to college and didn't really, you know, wasn't into gaming massively, but still a console close to my heart. You know, as I've gotten a lot older, um, so we'll just go at it. Uh, right there. And then I'm not going to get this out. I'll show you. I'll show you some controllers. We've got um, a SNES mouse. Steve, thank you so much for this. This is unbelievable. Um, a yellow N64 controller with some random wires. A couple of PlayStation 1 controllers with the console right there. Now, yellow and pink are my favourite colours. So, love this. Love the yellow controller. It's really, really nice. Matches my logo, yellow and pink. And then original PS1 controllers. And all we've got in here is, in fact, what I'll do. Move this out. Dreamcast mouse. Never seen one of these, never used one. Um, so I actually have the keyboard as well, which is pretty cool. So it's just padding that kind of Dreamcast collection out a little bit. It's probably the smallest part of my collection. Um, we've got Squeak here. Hello, Squeak. Whatever this is. Oh, we got a light piece for the Master System. Um, I don't have one of these, so that's really damn cool. That is really, really cool. Um, let me know if you what, what games you played with the Master System light laser. Did you prefer the NES or the Master System? If you answer that question, I know you've made it this far in the video. Um, and then in here, we've got the original Xbox with wires. And a many I'm not going to show you that. You can just see the green of the original Xbox there. So that's pretty darn sweet. So, nearly done. A couple more bits to show you. Um, this is the Super Nintendo, which I'm giving to my brother and my nephews. Uh, pins look really nice and tidy. This is quite a tidy. Um, that, that stick will be really, really easy to move. So that's for my bro. Let's see if we can balance it on top of that just and then there's this which i'm not entirely sure what this is is this an add-on for the 360 um this is a dvd player actually for the 360 so that again i've never seen i didn't know they did separate dvd players i was completely unaware um so that's really really cool and all the wires are just in this remaining box back here which don't need to see wires um it's just you know it is what it is so Thank you again to Steve for giving all of this um, <clears throat> a collection that was once loved by him that will now be loved and enjoyed by me. I cannot thank you enough. If you're watching this video, let me know, Steve. Uh, thank you so much and a happy new year. So there we go, guys. That That is it. That, that is, that's a pretty mammoth video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you guys are going to be looking to get some awesome retro games this year and I hope to meet some of you at the markets and expos that we've got coming up. I think the next one that I'm, I'll be at is the Doncaster one in March, March 1st. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, but let me know what you think of this in the comment section. Make sure you guys hit subscribe and like. We've got loads planned as usual. Loads of streams coming your way. Um, and just general positive vibes for the channel. Let's, let's continue to make it grow. You guys are awesome. Appreciate the support. Take care. My name's Gemma. See you soon.